So, a moment that you guys have been waiting for for ages. The Geekbench score of the A18 and the A18 Pro have been leaked. And I want to share with you all the details of the scores today. So that's right guys, the scores have been leaked now for the A18 and also the A18 Pro. It's going to go in the likes of say the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And without further ado, let's get started with the leak of the score we have for the A18. Let's have a look at the score here. So as you can see here, someone has done a Geekbench test on a iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Plus. And you can see here the single core score is coming out at 3,114. And the multi-core score, whether this is doomed or not, is 6666. What is very, very powerful. Now, when I say very, very powerful, I mean very, very powerful in single core. Because if you actually look here, look at the multi-core score the multi-core score wherever you are in the world look at here compared to the a16 you can actually see it's only slightly faster it seems like apple have kind of rebranded the multi-core sort of score here to be very similar to this what well, is quite weird to be deadly honest so obviously we know that the new a18 is definitely more efficient than the um, a16 but comparing it to the multi-core score of the a16 that we got here in the likes of say an iphone 15 it's only slightly more well it's a bit confusing because obviously apple did claim that it was going to be far more faster but then like i did say the actual single core score well that trumps it all this first of all apart from what you'll see with the a18 pro this is at the moment until we get to the a18 pro is the fastest single core score we have ever seen in an iPhone or chip with carrying the name A in front of it. Just look at this compared to even the A17 Pro. It has a score of 2,896 and then obviously the score that we've got right here is 3,114. So definitely in single core performance it is way, way faster. And to be deadly honest, I know the multi-core score is slower, but there's so many apps out there will use the single core performance to help along. Maybe this is where Apple were actually talking about that in single core performance, this is where their numbers were actually more aligning to that it was faster because yeah, it definitely is a lot faster than the A16 and even the A17 Pro, as you can see right here. So yeah, this is our first kind of leak of the A18. And yeah, like I said, for single core core performance it's definitely ahead but for multi-core performance it's only slightly more faster but like we did also say it is definitely more efficient this A18 inside of it compared to say the likes of the A16 and that is why Apple are claiming that we can get a definitely a boost in battery life this time because obviously of that. But then you're probably wondering, well, what about the A18 Pro? What is the score like there? Well, this is even more impressive. This one is definitely better than the A18. Have a look right here. As you can see, we've got a single core score of 3,409. What's absolutely amazing. And the multi-core score is 8,492. What is also really, really crazy to have inside of an iPhone. Again, in single core performance, we are way ahead than the A17 Pro. Just look at the A17 Pro score here. Its single core performance was 2,896. And then obviously we are getting 3,409. That is a great boost over last year. So this is absolutely amazing to see there. And then for multi-core performance, well, like we said, the A18 Pro, has a score of 8,492. The A17 Pro only scored around about 7,158 or 7,192, what was super quick for last year. But obviously this trumps it even more. So we can see that the A18 Pro is definitely a super powerhouse for an iPhone. What's absolutely crazy. It's definitely the fastest A chip out there we've seen by far. Do you want to know something else that is crazy? Well, that is the iPad giveaway we're doing at the end of September on this channel. So that's right, guys. If you didn't know already, I'm giving away this iPad Pro 13 inch with an M4 inside it and 512 gigabytes of storage to one lucky subscriber 
on this channel. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway, it's quite simple, is just put down in the comments below of what technology gear you plan to get, whether this be Apple related, or maybe you're getting that new PS5 Pro with the super expensive price tag next to it. And you might be as well buy yourself, say, a MacBook M2 or something like this. But I'm not saying anything. But the point is, just put it down in the comments below. And yeah, what you also need to do is make sure that you're also a subscriber on this channel. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because near the end of September time, I will be making a video giving you more details about the giveaway, telling you when the live stream is also going to be. And there'll be a little form to fill in too. So yeah, make sure you definitely do that right now. The other thing I just want to quickly say is I'm also going to be giving this away with the iPad Pro. This here is a magic keyboard to go alongside it so that lucky subscriber can get started really easily. So yeah, great accessory to go alongside it. The other thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram and all these other ways of communicating too but best thing you can really do guys is ignore them or better still as you can see right here please do report them so moving along then with this a18 pro and the a18 like i said they are stupidly powerful they are really really powerful and to be honest even the a18 pro in its multi-core score look at this this is even faster than the M1. This is faster than, say, the M1 iPad Pro or the M1 iPad Air in multi-core score. This is faster than that in its multi-core performance. And obviously, in single-core performance, it is really powerful too. It was way faster than the M1. It's way faster than the M2. It's even faster than the M4 free in single core performance and as you can see even just right here it's just behind the likes of say the m4 in single core performance it's very close to that what is absolutely amazing you are really getting a true powerhouse like i said with the a18 pro inside the iphone 16 pro or the iphone 16 pro max this year and you'll definitely be able to do so many different tasks if you think of everything we've been able to do on say an m M1 or even say an M2 sort of iPad or even say the MacBooks. This is that kind of performance you're going to get here. Plus, I'd even say it's going to be even better than those because obviously we've got that better ray tracing abilities and 3D advanced graphics is even more enhanced. We don't have those Geekbench scores or those scores yet, just yet for kind of anything to do with benchmarking with graphics. But I can imagine it's definitely going to be faster than the M1 and obviously the M2. It might be around the same as an M3. We'll just have to wait and see there. But it's absolutely crazy to see that... You you know, this is such a powerful chip. And the same, like I said, with the actual A18, I reckon, again, the actual graphics performance inside of that is probably on par with, say, say an M2, probably this time around. Like I said, this is just me guessing. But obviously, from the figures that we have seen today, it is stupidly powerful that you're going to get something, you know, as a phone. And that only the M2 was, you know, it's still being sold right now, the M2 MacBook Air, for example. And, for example, that we M2 was the main kind of um, sort of CPU or sock that was out there this time last year and that we're actually catching up to that performance inside the A18 and also the A18 Pro was absolutely amazing. But what are your thoughts on this guys? What do you think of the performance of the A18 and the A18 Pro? Has this convinced you more to potentially get yourself an iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Pro model? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that as well guys it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews comparisons make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye